What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today we have our first official look at Apple Pay Cash. We can go hands-on with it because Apple included it in iOS 11.2, Beta 2 for developers, and Public Beta 2 for public beta testers. I have been so excited waiting to get my hands on this feature for a very long time. Apple initially announced it all the way back in June of 2017 at WWDC, so let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. To make sure that the feature is enabled on your device, head over to Settings, scroll down until you see Wallet and Apple Pay, and if you already have cards set up through Apple Pay, they will be listed here, but then you'll see a new one under cards that says Apple Pay Cash, and if it's not set up, it will let you know. Tap on it, it'll just give you a brief overview of what the service is, hit continue or next. It's going to set up and verify that Apple Pay Cash is being set up properly, and then it will be added to your device. Once that's set up, underneath, of course, because we've never used the feature before, it will say that your balance is zero. If you tap on the card, you're going to get a lot of options here. First up under balance, if you want to add money to your Apple Pay Cash card, you can do so by tapping on the add money option. The minimum here is $10, and it's going to put money on here from one of your cards already registered with Apple Pay. For me, it's my Bank of America debit card. I'm going to have to double click to add the money through Apple Pay, but because I don't want to do that right now, I'm just going to hit cancel, but it would go on your card if you decided to continue and authenticate with either Face ID on the iPhone 10 or Touch ID on any other iPhone. You can also transfer money to your bank once you've received it. This is also going to be another really popular option because once someone sends you money, no matter what the amount is, it's just going to sit on your Apple Pay cash card. It won't go into your own bank account. This Apple Pay Cash card is a separate account exclusively for money sent with Apple Pay Cash through peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay. So to add a bank account, you have to know your routing number and account number. You can find this by calling your bank, going online to your banking website, or if you have checks, your routing and account number will be listed on there. So find a check and input the data here. I'm also going to set that up just a little bit later because I actually want to try sending money in just a second. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact Apple support down below list your device exclusive account number, your network, your PIN, you can update your billing address. And below that, there was an option that I saw before that I set up before recording this video where you had to verify some personal information like your birth date, your full legal name, your address, and the last four digits of your social security. Obviously, I can't show any of that on video, so I set it up prior to making this. But below that, you finally have privacy policy in terms and conditions. Now that we've taken a look at the features inside of the settings app, let's head over to messages and start sending some money. Once you found someone that you want to send money to inside of the messages app, it's really easy to send money. It's going to make sending payments to other people for food or anything else just so much more streamlined than using a third party app. When you tap on Apple Pay, you can either subtract or add money to the default $1 amount and you can request that or pay that. For example, I'm going to request $5 for my second Apple ID or to the person I'm sending this to. When I hit request, it's going to pop up and you can add a message if you'd like. I'm going to put this is a test message for Apple Pay Cash and I can send it. The arrow for sending this Apple Pay Cash request also becomes black instead of blue, which is a nice detail there. When you've requested $5, I'm going to pull up my iPad now, which is registered to my second Apple ID. If I tap on pay here, it will pay myself $5 or pay the other person $5 that they requested. So that is how you request money, but now I want to pay someone for something. I'm going back to that same conversation or anyone who has Apple Pay Cash set up on their device. I'm going to tap on the iMessage app drawer icon, tap on Apple Pay, and then right here it defaults to $1 once again, let's say I want to do something more specific, like $5.50. You can do that here by tapping on show keypad. And once again, you have the options for request or pay and your balance is listed below. This time I want to pay it. So I'm going to send $5.50 just like that. And you can see, once again, I have to do the final confirmation to send it. And then I have sent someone $5.50 that easily using iMessage on my iPhone. So that's just one way you can send money to other people using Apple Pay Cash in iOS 11.2, but you can also use Siri, which is super cool. Let's try it right now. Hey Siri, send $20 to Sam K using Apple Pay. Here's your payment of $20 using Apple Pay and you can send it just like that. Before wrapping up, there's one more really cool thing with Apple Pay Cash that I wanna show you. If you go to the home screen and go to the wallet app, tap on your Apple Pay Cash card and move your device around. The colors and reflections change just like a normal credit card. It's the classic Apple attention to detail. It looks so slick, balance in the top right-hand corner, Apple Pay Cash name in the top left. And if you tap on the eye in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you can view the same information that we were looking at earlier in the settings app. Anyway guys, that is Apple Pay Cash. It's so easy, so simple, and I am so interested to see 
what happens to PayPal and Venmo and Square Cash now that this is built in to millions of devices around the world coming in iOS 11.2. As always, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about Apple Pay Cash? Do you like it? Are you going to use it? And do you think it's better than some other alternatives? If you enjoyed this video, it does help me out if you drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos on iOS in the future. I've been Sam. I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in the next one.